Rock stars Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about acoustic versus electric guitar. Which one's better for you? Which one should you be playing? Is there a best? Let's check it out. All right, so you're looking for a guitar, and you don't know if you should get an acoustic or an electric, or maybe you're uh, you're on the electric now, and you, you're wanting to know what an acoustic would be like, or an acoustic, and you're wanting to know what an electric would be like. Um, I know I was like that when I first had an acoustic. I just wanted to have an electric so bad, uh, but did not know about it. You know, is it something that I can do? Can I do it? I can play acoustic, but I can't. Can I play electric, right? So there's, there's these questions. Um, so we're going to talk about generalities here for both of these instruments. And uh, we're going to talk about similarities. And then we're going to be talking about, like, what's their uses and uh, maybe even some comparisons to other things that you may know that's going to help you with the idea of acoustic versus electric and which one you might want to gravitate to, okay? So the definition of an acoustic guitar is basically a guitar that amplifies itself. The, the body of this, it, the guitar is, resonates in such a way that you can sit here and you can play it and you don't have to plug it in and everybody can hear it just fine, okay? Now, if we were to take an electric guitar that was not plugged in, or this one's plugged in, but one that is not up in volume, then we get this sound. See, not very loud, right? But once we turn it up, we get some volume, right? So what we want to do is we want to talk about, you know, these differences here. So obviously you can hear a big difference just from listening to those two, just like that. Now, the electric guitar obviously is going to need some sort of amplification, uh, an amplifier, a PA or something to make it very, very loud. Whereas the acoustic guitar just is itself. Now, a lot of people will say, well, what should I start with, the acoustic or the electric? And I have an answer for that, too. There's not a perfect way. The acoustic guitar, I like to teach students on the acoustic guitar first because they don't have to fiddle with pedals, knobs, amplifiers, cables, and everything else that goes along with electric guitars. Now, most electric guitar players will say, well, that's not a big deal. I do that all the time. It's not a big deal after a while. But for the fledgling guitar player who's just starting off, it can be a little bit overwhelming having to know all these other variables. And sometimes that can be, that can depress the student where they're like, I just don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so the acoustic guitar, it is what it is. You pick it up and it either, you can either play it or you can't. Okay, there's nothing that you have to plug it into or anything in order to get nice music out of it. Um, they're great for finger picking, that sort of thing. Great for strumming like really loud. Whereas the electric guitar, if you did that sort of thing, it really doesn't sound very good. You, you typically have to parse down the chords to like to do power chords or something like that, um, two three note styled chords in order to get that sound uh, that sounds great on the electric. On the acoustic, you play it differently. A lot of big strumming, a lot of open chords, typically not as many bar chords, not to say that you can't do it. Now, those are you know two of the, the basic differences, is that one stands alone and the other one you need other bits and pieces really for it to be fun, okay? You can play an electric all day long without an amp and it's gonna be fine. It's just not gonna sound like you're used to an electric guitar sounding. <clears throat> the acoustic guitar, Obviously, it sits by itself. It stands by itself and you can play it just like that. Now, what's similar about them is that, you know, tuning-wise, they're really the same thing. And when I say they're really, they 100% are the same thing. If you want to do an alternate tuning on the, on the acoustic, you can do it. You can do it on the electric. But the tuning's the same. The scale's the same. Uh, the the way that you would approach the chords and soloing and melodies and stuff like that is, is very, very, very similar. What I say is the difference between them, however, is you could say that a Porsche and a Lexus 
are the same thing. They're cars. They have four wheels. They've got a steering wheel and an engine and an exhaust and you put gas in them and they go. And that would be true. They're very much the same in that way. But if you've ever taken a Porsche around a corner very, very quickly, you'll know that they handle really well, as opposed to say a Lexus, which is a great car, but it's not going to be able to handle a corner like a Porsche would. Okay. A Porsche is going to be very sensitive with the wheel. When you turn it, it's going to jerk really quickly as opposed to a sedan, a Lexus or a BMW, something like that. When you turn the wheel, it's going to be smoother because it's built to have a smoother ride. Okay. Whereas a Porsche is built to perform lower to the ground, uh, more responsive, those sorts of things. You could think about the acoustic guitar as a sedan, a more luxury vehicle in that, uh, <clears throat> it's more forgiving. Whereas an electric, electric guitar is not as forgiving. So for instance, if I put my hands on the strings like this and I pat, you know, or I just kind of brush my hands across the strings, you probably don't hear that as much, right? But if I've got the electric here and I have some, any sort of volume on my amp, when I move my hands across the strings, we can hear it pretty loudly, you know? When I take my hands off the strings, they sound, okay? Now, of course, if I have less overdrive or something like that, it's a little bit more like an acoustic guitar. But usually you don't play electrics that way. You usually play them with some sort of pedal. So in that way, the electric guitar is a little bit more like a sports car, more of a, of a car that is going to be more sensitive. Uh, volume wise, you can go very, very quiet like this. So you can hear there's a, this very big dynamic range when it comes to the electric guitar. With the acoustic guitar, <clears throat> you can get very, very quiet, but you can't get very, very, very loud. With the electric guitar, it's almost the sky's the limit. And so because of that, you have a very big dynamic range. Now, when it comes to electric guitars, uh, you typically need more equipment. You need cables. You need a strap typically because you stand up usually when you're playing electric guitar. You've got pedals, you've got amplifiers, you, there's, there's other bits and pieces, but it also makes it more fun because you can customize your sound. Whereas an acoustic guitar, the acoustic guitar is pretty much what you got. So if you don't like the sound of your acoustic guitar, throwing a bunch of pedals at it and what have you in recording is probably not going to help it a whole lot. I mean, you could do some things, you can color the sound a little bit, but not as much as you would say an electric guitar. With an electric guitar, you also have uh, volume knobs. And most acoustic guitars you don't. I have some that have them and some that don't. Uh, but you know, you, you might have an acoustic, uh, an acoustic electric like this one here where you have a pickup built into it and you have a volume. In this case here, it's hidden in, inside of the sound hole. Uh, whereas my Takamini has them right at the top here. Uh, and I can adjust the EQ and there's a little tuner built in and that sort of thing. Uh, but typically you don't have tone on an acoustic guitar and sometimes you don't have the volume. And in the case of an electric guitar, you've got typically have volume and tone. In this case, we've got two pickups, so we've got two tone or two volume and two tone. And we have a pickup selector, which allows us to pick which pickup we're using. Uh, as far as tuning pegs, bridges, and those sorts of things, um, there are some, some small differences with the electric guitar. Sometimes you'll have a, uh, a floating, like a tremolo system, like a whammy bar, what some people call a whammy bar or a wang bar or something like that. And you take that and you can detune this, the guitar very quickly by taking that bar and pushing it down. It's an effect that, that electric guitar players like to use a lot. You don't have that on the acoustic. It would be kind of corny if you did. If you had a, a, a say like a, Floyd Rose or some sort of tremolo system on an acoustic. People don't do it. It's just not really the sound that we're going for. So in regards to what's best for you, 
Well, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Like I say, when I'm talking to my students that are just starting off, if they're easily distracted, I'll always start them on an acoustic, typically a nylon string guitar because the strings are softer, they don't cut into their fingers as much. A little bit more forgiveness there, but it's a much quieter guitar. So there's caveats to all things. When we're looking for a best guitar, there is a best that's for you, okay? But best for overall, it's not really the same thing. If you're racing a car, or if you're racing your friends in cars, you might want to use the Porsche. If you're driving from here to Alaska, you might want to take a sedan or something that's very nice, or a Jeep if you're going to be in the backcountry. So there's dif different reasons why we would use different guitars, just like different cars. So uh, if you're not easily distracted and you want a very easy uh, fretting time, okay, so if you're playing bar chords and what have you, the electric guitar is a great choice because Typically thinner strings, the action's lower. The action is the distance between the neck and the strings. So as it comes lower, to closer to the neck, then it's easier to play. But electrics typically have lower action, uh, thinner strings, and so they're easier to play in that regards, in the actual fretting part. But again, you know, you gotta take all things into consideration. So if you're easily distracted and need to have the best pedal and the best amp set up and you gotta wait for the tubes to warm up on your amp and all sorts of stuff like that, an acoustic may be a better choice for you. All right, my friends, I hope that that helps a little bit. I hope that clears things up a little bit. Um, it can be a little bit confusing in the beginning about navigating this stuff, which is why I've created my free course that you can find the link to that below. And I teach you how to pick out an electric guitar. I teach you how to pick out an acoustic guitar. I teach you how to hold the guitar, how to fret the guitar, how to pick the guitar, chords, melodies, music theory, all sorts of stuff. It's all free. It's below. YourGuitarSage.com slash 30. It's the top 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. I've literally taught these lessons thousands of times and enjoy it every single time I do it. This is my life and I love doing this. So please let me know how it can help you. Leave comments below uh, if you have questions or um, comments. Uh, and please share this video by all means. If it helped you, share it with other people. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook all that good stuff. So please hit me up there. I'd love to help you out. Uh, my friends, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I got a motto. I got several mottos. One of them is be kind to all beings. Every being wants to be loved. Every being deserves kindness. Treat all beings with kindness, okay? Don't trust the man and practice your guitar. And I'll see you in the next video.